Hi guys, Lemmy here. Welcome back to another art video. Today we're doing a YouTube artist collective piece and we're doing the theme Grimm's Fairy Tales. So I originally was going to do Snow White and what was it? Rose Red or something? I think, I think that's what it was called? <laughs> um, but then I was like, hey, I'm biting off more than I can chew in the allotted time that I kind of don't really have because Inktober was going on, I was getting married, I was going away for my honeymoon, and then all of a sudden YouTube Artist Collective thing popped up and so I was like, okay, drop that. It's no longer gonna be Snow White and Rose Red. We're just gonna cut it in half. So now it's just gonna be Snow White. So yeah, that's kind of where I was going with this. I thought it would be fun to do Snow White also because everyone really knows Snow White from the Disney version. And maybe not so many people know the Grimm's version, which actually came first. So without further ado, I'm going to tell you the story of Snow White. So, Snow White is born and she's like so good looking and white skin and black hair, red lips and all that junk. And her mother dies because, you know, stories. So her father's this king and he's like, hey, I'm gonna get a new wife. So he picked a really horrible, terrible, evil woman because she was hot and no other reason. He just thought, hey, this woman is smoking. She's the hottest lady in the entire land. This is gonna be my new wife. She's not nice. <laughs> she has no sense of humor. No one likes her, but she's really good looking. And so, Snow White grew up with her stepmother. And they were like pretty chill, they were fine. Until one day when the queen was consulting her crazy mirror thing that knows everything. And she's like, hey mirror, who's hot? And the mirror's like, not you anymore. <laughs> Snow White is. And then, and then this evil lady becomes like crazy. And she's like, you know what? Well, I'm the prettiest. <laughs> Because who cares, but she does. So she sends Snow White out into the forest with a hunter dude. And she's like, hey, can you like murder her and bring me back like some body parts? Okay, it says here, Queen demands that he returns with her lungs and her liver. So they go out to the forest and he's like, hey, Snow White's pretty cool. I like her, but I, I can't really kill her. So he's like, okay, run away and I'll just tell your stepmother you're dead. Problem solved, right? So he kills an animal and brings back the heart, which I mean, she asked for the lungs and the liver, but he brought back the heart. I don't know why he would do that, but he does. Snow White's stumbling around the forest and she comes across the house of a whole bunch of dwarves, right? And she lets herself in. This is like Goldilocks, right? I think they might be related or something because they start freeloading off of everybody sleeping in their beds, eating their food. But you know, obviously since all seven of them are dwarves, everything is too small. So it's kind of like a weird version of Goldilocks. The dwarves finally come home and they're like, dude, why are you in our house freeloading? And then she's like, hey, I'm an innocent little girl and my stepmother's crazy. And they're like, okay, you know what? We'll take you in, you know, one of us. So then the queen over in Queenland asks her mirror. And she's like, hey, who's hot? And the mirror's like, queen, you're hot, but you know, you're still not the hottest because Snow White's still alive, <laughs> apparently. And the queen is like so freaked out, right? So she's like, I gotta do it myself. I'm gonna take this into my own hands. So she disguises herself at first as an old peddler. And she goes to the cottage where Snow White is. God knows how she found it, but she did. And she offers her a laced bodice and she's like hey this is really cool don't you want it like I'm a stranger but do you want my stuff 
And Snow White, being innocent and naive, is like, okay, you can give me this free pretty bodice thing. So she basically puts this bodice on Snow White and she tightens it so much that Snow White just passes out. Like, she just, on the floor, she passes out. And the queen's like, yeah, I killed her. So, like, she leaves. Now, first of all, if I was going to kill someone, I wouldn't put, like, a shirt with laces on them and tighten it. Like, that's kind of not really the best way to kill someone. But okay, alright. This is her, this is her first attempt at murdering someone, so maybe she's not very good at it, right? So she leaves, the dwarves come home, and they're like, oh my god! And then they proceed in taking her clothes off so she can breathe again. They save her life. So now Queen is home again, she's like, hey mirror, who's hot? And the mirror's like, dude, you failed at killing her, essentially. And so the Queen's like, okay, you know what, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna do it again this time. And I'm gonna dress up as a merchant that sells combs, but combs only, cause, cause that is a thing apparently. Back then they just had comb salesmen and that's all they would sell. So she goes to Snow White in the forest and she's dressed up as a comb salesman and you know, Snow White's all innocent. She's like, I'm just gonna let another stranger in. All right. So we'll give her the benefit of the doubt. Maybe the first one, the peddler, was crazy. Maybe the comb merchant's nice. So she starts brushing her hair. And for whatever reason, she just passes out. Well, apparently the comb is poisoned. But ironically, when, when I, it doesn't really make any sense, but when the dwarves come home, they remove the comb from her hair and she like wakes up and she's like, I'm totally fine. So if really the comb, like how, wouldn't the comb just have poison on it and then it would get onto her skin. So even if you remove the comb, she's still poisoned. But apparently that doesn't make sense to anyone back then because she's totally fine. And the queen is like, hey, mirror, like, am I good looking yet? <laughs> and the mirror's like, no, seriously, you failed again. Like, you hired someone, you tried to murder her by yourself twice, and you're still not the prettiest, you, you, you messed up. So the queen is like, you know what? I'm not a quitter, I'm gonna try again. Because if anything's taught her anything this whole time is that like, just keep trying and maybe Maybe one day you'll murder your stepdaughter. So, the queen decides that she's going to disguise herself now as a farmer's wife and bring a poisoned apple to her. And for whatever reason, Snow White is like, hey, another stranger. I'm going to let them in and take something from them because I haven't learned the first two times I let a stranger in my house that I shouldn't be doing this. So she's like, I'm a little bit hesitant at first, but then the queen cuts the apple in half and ate the white part, which is harmless, and gave her the red poisoned half, so the part with the skin on it. So the girl takes a bite out of it and falls into a state of suspended animation. And I looked this up. This doesn't mean she's dead. It just means like she went to sleep and like, but she's not decaying, but she's not really sleeping. She's just kind of there. Like she's not getting any less hot. She's kind of just like out like a light. She's just a body like laying there. So she's not dead, she's just kind of there. And I mean, when you think about it, the mirror's still gonna say like, she's good looking, she's not dead, she's not rotting. So still the queen kind of failed, right? Anyway, the dwarves come home and they find Snow White collapsed again. And they're like, are you serious? What is wrong with this girl? And they think that she's dead 
because for some reason, this time, they just think she's dead as opposed to the other times where they think they can save her. So they place her in a glass casket. Now, keep in mind, a glass casket, a casket is what you bury a dead person in. They assumed she was dead. They put her in a casket. Now, why it's glass, I don't know. Do they want to put her on display? I think that's kind of weird, but you know, they're dwarves and maybe they have like a dwarf culture thing and I don't know. After a little bit, there just happens to be a prince that's traveling around because you know princes go everywhere by themselves and they're unguarded and they just wander around the countryside and the forest and no one worries about them. And while he's traveling by himself, he sees Snow White in her glass coffin. And now on the Wikipedia, it's saying, dude, it's a coffin. Like, they think she's dead. The dwarves think she's dead. She's in a coffin. She's just laying out there. And now this is where it gets really important, right? This is what Wikipedia says. Enchanted by her beauty, Keep in mind, this has nothing to do with magic because you can be enchanted by something or really like something or like, but that doesn't have to do with magic necessarily. Enchanted by her beauty, he instantly falls in love with her, quote. So basically like her dad, he just walks up and is like, hey, you're hot. And now I'm in love with you. And he convinces the seven dwarves to let him have Snow White. Like, I'm not even kidding you. He talked to the seven dwarves and was like, can I have her? Can I take her home with me? So he sees this dead girl he thinks is really hot in a coffin and then asks if he can take her home with him. Like, if this isn't red flags, I don't know what is. To make matters worse, the dwarves say, okay, you can take her. So they just give Snow White to this strange necrophiliac that just wandered by, and they're all good with that, all seven of them. Yeah, okay, take her. So he goes to lift the coffin, and okay, get this, quote, the piece of poisoned apple falls from between her lips and Snow White awakens, saying, where am I? <laughs> okay, so when he's picking up the coffin, she essentially goes <clears throat> and like spits up some apple <laughs> and then is like, what's going on? Because this guy is just taking her body away. I mean, I really don't think that they understood how poison works back then, but, you know, it's a fictional story, so we're just gonna roll with it. Um, <laughs> so then the prince is like, hey, I'm madly in love with you, because <laughs> like, I know you so well. And then they had a wedding. And get this, Snow White and the prince invite everybody to their wedding including the stepmother, you know, who attempted to get her murdered four times throughout the story, three times on her own, and then one time with some other guy. They're inviting her to the wedding because that just seems like a really good idea. Back in Queenland, apparently she hasn't checked in with her mirror for a while. I mean, she was really thorough for a bit and kept consulting him. But now she's kind of like, eh, and she lets it go for a bit. And then she decides, you know what? I better just triple, quadruple check and make sure I murdered her. You know, got to make sure there's nobody prettier than me because that would be the worst. So she goes up to the mirror and she's like, hey, you know, <laughs> who's the baddest bitch in town? And the mirror, the mirror's like, okay. In town, you are the baddest bitch, but there is a far badder bitch in a town over there, as he points with his mirror fingers to the land that Snow White's living in. At the time, the queen doesn't know that Snow White's dead, 
She thinks that she's dead, even though she suspended her in animation. But she's like, okay, well, now I gotta go, because I got this invite to this wedding. No one likes going to weddings, but I gotta go to it, because I gotta see how pretty she is, because this really matters for some reason. And she goes to the wedding. And she shows up and she looks up at Snow White and she goes, Oh wait, oh shit, that's Snow White! And then, the thing that happens next is the best thing I've ever read on Wikipedia. Quote, She chokes with rage, falls down, and dies. That's the end of the quote. She just chokes with rage, falls down, and she's dead. Like, she just dies. She sees her and dies. And then they lived happily ever after. The end. So basically, the moral of this story is you can be as stupid and naive and innocent and ridiculous and trusting as you want, and other people will take care of you and make sure you survive. And... If you're really pretty, it doesn't matter how evil or terrible you are because you will still marry a king. And you can be really super beautiful and then uh, another prince guy will marry you and he's secretly a um, necrophiliac. So the moral of the story is I don't really know. I don't know what's going on. This is a weird story. Um, but... But not every story needs to have a point, and I'm good with that. Honestly, I do think that the Grimm's version is much, much, much more entertaining than the Disney version. I mean, it's ridiculous on so many levels that I just absolutely adore it. I'm so happy I picked Snow White because I wouldn't have read the story unless I picked it because I, um, I dropped out of the other story and I just kind of thought I'll do this one and oh my gosh what a what what a tale for the ages <laughs> but yeah I guess a little bit about the picture I just put some Easter eggs in there from all the murder attempts and I know her hair isn't super black but nothing really is super black so I kind of like I mean, if I made her hair super black everything else in the picture wouldn't look right so it's a little bit grayed and a little bit on the brown side, but it's mostly black. I did use a lot of black in the hair, but it still has like a tint. Anyway, um, I used Copic markers for this, a ton of them, and I used Sakura Jelly Rolls and a Uta Ball um, Signo for the white, and I also used some Prismacolor Verithin to add some texture because sometimes I get kind of bored with the Copics. Not that they're boring, it's just that there's no texture, so they kind of look flat. So then I added some texture with the pencil to kind of spruce it up, make it look a little bit more three-dimensional or something. And, um, yeah. Actually, the uh, flowers, because my internet was out all week, I had no reference for like flowers or like flower color arrangements or anything. So the flowers that I used in the picture were kind of loosely based off of my flowers that I had in my bouquet for my wedding. So that was kind of funny. Um, hmm, anything else? I tried to give her a more interesting outfit too, but I don't know how well I succeeded. I thought I'd give her like the, you know the king and they have like the little fur thing and the spots and it's white and black. I was trying to like add that into the thing, but I don't know. Eh, eh, I guess it's alright. And I didn't want to make her too pretty. I know she's supposed to be like the prettiest thing ever, but I don't know. I just, I think there's something wrong with with the message of the story about being so beautiful and whatever. So I kind of made her like kind of cute, but kind of like not the poster child for like rainbows and puppies, but kind of like a little darker look to it. And I don't know. I think it kind of looks all right, especially since she's not super old. She's kind of young. So I tried to give her a little bit of a younger appearance. I think I did all right with that. 
But yeah, that's about it for the picture. If you want to check out any of the other YouTube artists who are participating in the YouTube Artist Collective, I will have them linked in the description below if I can get it off of uh, Amanda. She's our coordinator. Hi, Amanda. <laughs> um, I'm really excited to see what other people did. I haven't really been checking in with anyone, so I'm completely oblivious to what's going on. Plus the internet being out, I'm super oblivious. I don't know what's happening. But this original is for sale in my store Envy. I will have it listed. Uh, if you're interested, you can go check it out there. If not, that's cool too. <laughs> and I'll speak to you guys again next week in another art video. I'm probably going to uh, recap my Inktober because I was going to do that this week, but then with everything else, and I just couldn't do it this week because of the YouTube Artist Collective thing, which is fine. Which is cool. We'll just do it next week. You know, I guess. Oh, there's something, there's something about doing a video like this it makes me feel very nostalgic for when I first started my channel and I, I talked about things that have nothing to really do with what I'm doing either. <laughs> like I just kind of like, hey, let's talk a bit. But I had a person comment in one of my older videos and she was like, does, is it just me or do I miss these old videos that don't have topics that aren't like planned out and stuff like that? And I was like, yeah, I'm pretty sure you're the only one who misses them because all the new videos have so many views and so many people participating in the comments section. But I sometimes wonder like if anyone else misses these kinds of videos because there's so much more fun to make. And like, there's less, I guess, stress involved with them. So yeah, kind of like a flashback to the past. I want to get going though. Probably should leave at some point. I mean, I can't make like a half hour video, though I'm getting kind of close to it, so I better leave. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys had a great week. Let me know what you think of the picture, if I, if I captured her all right. I wasn't really sure. I kind of was going for like a darker thing, but who knows? I don't know. Um, at one point, I was gonna put the uh the queen in the casket looking like horrified when she died she just died and choked on her rage and i just wanted to have her like rigor mortis rage face and just her laying in the casket looking up at her butt but i um i opted out of that because it sounded like too much work because <laughs> the other one i was going to do two characters with the uh, snow white and rose red but but then i was like no i don't have the time so to put the, the queen in there seemed unreasonable. I really should go. <laughs> okay, I love you guys. I'll talk to you next week in another video. Take care. Bye.